COVID diagnosis can mean anything from a stuffy nose to a ventilator. And for some people, it can mean still dealing with life altering symptoms months later. A British study in 2020 found an estimated 10% of those who contract COVID experience long haul symptoms. Well, this year, the University of Michigan found it is far more likely among those who have to go to the hospital. More than 32% of COVID outpatients became long haulers, about 31% of hospitalized patients. As News 5 anchor Mike Brookbank reports, a new program is helping to help those long haulers. Difficulty breathing, brain fog, fatigue. We are learning a lot in terms of the consequences of COVID. Just some of the symptoms that can surface months after the initial infection. Joint pain, bone pain, um, abdominal pain. Many who survived their bout with the virus. 24 days in a coma. 54 days in the hospital. Now suffer from what's called COVID long haul syndrome. I went in with 37. I'm the only one that lived. Jay Williams tells me just like the coronavirus, its after effects are disproportionately impacting communities of color. We uh, are afraid to express what we are going through. With so many of his fellow black and brown long haulers yeah, suffering in silence, Williams knew he had to do something. This radio station is a platform to help change the lives of our community. This weekend, he, along with WOVA 95.9, will host a celebration. It's bringing light to survivors of coronavirus. Giving those with lingering symptoms. And they have an opportunity to talk about what's going on in their body. A chance to access resources that could lead to some relief. They're going to have a chance to come in and be around real doctors that they can touch. This fall, the Cleveland Foundation awarded Burton Bell Car Development, which owns WOVU, a $60,000 grant to raise awareness in the African American community. They refer to us as COVID long haul survivors. More than a dozen public service announcements are currently on the air. So are there other ways then you guys are trying to reach the community other than the radio station? Yeah, we're going to come out and knock on doors. The outreach very much needed in communities of color, according to Dr. Charles Modlin with Metro Hospital. Uh, we want to teach people how to recognize these long haul COVID-19 symptoms, what they can do about it. The need for knowledge going beyond just patients. And we have more work to do in terms of education, educating healthcare providers about the existence of this syndrome. Modlin tells me some doctors may unknowingly be dismissing symptoms connected to the syndrome, making patients even more reluctant to come forward. We as healthcare providers recognize that these symptoms are real. They're not imaginary. Data shows up to one third of people infected with COVID can experience these long lasting symptoms, even children. It can predispose individuals uh, to developing new onset diseases of the lungs, kidneys, heart, uh, diabetes, for example. A potential one two punch for people like Jay Williams. You want to see a miracle? Look at me. I'm a miracle. Who battled a deadly virus only to face a new round of challenges. For Jay, he's making the most of this second chance at life. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this with every fiber of my spirit. Reporting in Cleveland, Mike Brookbank, News 5.